Hi, this is Ronnie Boy. Ooh. What did I do? Come here, come here, come here. You talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> I know it's kind of late. Uh, gosh, I hope I didn't wake you. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, a uh, little bit of good news. I don't know if I told you this, but oh, uh, so I got to start beginning. Not the beginning, but the beginning today. I was just sitting out there, you know, lawn chair sitting there by my hay field. I cut down yesterday, knowing it's going to get rained on tonight. <laughs> and Amos stopped in. And he said, "What are you doing?" I says, uh, "Watching the hay dry." He says, "Yeah, uh, can I help you?" I says, "No, I think I got this part covered." <laughs> and uh, he says, I got a six-pack. I said, oh, what the hell? Come on, you can help. <laughs> so we sat there talking for a while. And uh, he asked on my doctor's appointment. That's what I forgot to tell you yesterday. I had a doctor's appointment today uh, just to check up, see how healthy I am. The doctor says, I can't believe it. He says, since you've been out working, you've really improved a lot in your strengths. And he gave me one of the strength tests. Got to push these things and push on these and everything. He says, you've gained a lot of strength. And you your weight hasn't changed, and your blood blood pressure remains excellent. And he says, you smell more like a farmer. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm doing well. But uh, after Amo and I got done watching the hay dry, <laughs> oh, well. But we, we talked about something about all the break-ins around here on farms and that. I, I came up with a good idea, and Amo seconded it. Uh, of course, now you guys will steal my idea and make a fortune off of it. I don't know, maybe the alarm companies around here have something like it already, but here's my idea. I, uh, you know, like, uh, generally I got my shop broken in, too. And uh, they come in at night when it's dark out and in the morning. My stuff is gone. I started locking it up, and then I see where they tried to break in. I don't want my doors or windows damaged, so I would have to, with my idea now, you have to leave the doors unlocked so they don't break in, and break my doors and whatever. And see, now what I would install is a motion detector. And see, you can set the settings on there so a mouse or a cat won't set it off, but something like the size of a human being would. Or a cow, <laughs> or a horse, or the, the, the monsters from down in the swamp. Anyway, um, uh, leave the doors unlocked. Of course, remember, it's dark out. And uh, they get in there, and uh, they shut the door. And uh, uh, the motion detectors will detect they're there. And ring an alarm up here in the house. And I know somebody was in there. And besides just doing that, it locked the doors electronically, shut off the current to the whole building so it would stay dark in there. And I'd leave a bunch of stuff sitting around so they trip over it and fall down and break their head open and everything like that. And shit, I could even have some sprinklers that would turn on or something like that. Spray them with red paint or something. <laughs> of course, I'd have to leave my John Deere's. I'd spray them with green paint. John Deere green. <laughs> okay, and then I'd call the cops and I'd go down there. See, I don't want to carry a gun. I don't want to kill anything. Especially an animal, you know, but a human being, no, no, I don't want to kill And as far as soon as something go wrong, oh, he's got a gun there. Shoot, they might shoot themselves accidentally and then I get blamed for it. But isn't that a good idea? They get in there, the motion detector, detector there, doors are locked. Can't get out. That's totally dark in there because all the current is shut off to the building. An alarm will ring up here and I call the cops and they'd be right out here. And we catch the little monsters. You hear that? Or have, have it ring at my house and Amos' house, and we leave the cops out of it. You guys will never be found. Don't mess with a farmer. He's smarter than the average hick. <laughs> hey, now, I don't care if you steal my idea and make some money off it or not, but you better make sure it catches some of these rascals. Yeah. Okay. You take care now, and thank you for watching the Ronnie Boy Show. Catch you one of these nights. <laughs>